sugars can be classified into reducing sugar and non-reducing sugar. Glucose and fructose, both of them belong to reducing sugar. Sucrose, the sugar that we use in day-to-day -day life is a non-reducing sugar. Now, how do we distinguish reducing sugar from non-reducing sugar? By the use of Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent is nothing but ammoniacal silver nitrate. You dissolve glucose in water, add a drop of Tollens reagent and put it boiling water. And silver is deposited inside. Silver mirror is formed in both the glucose and fructose. So both of them are identified this. But generally, aldehydes are identified from ketones by using a Tollens reagent. Only aldehydes will form a silver mirror and ketones do not. But how do we account for the formation of silver mirror in the case of the fructose, which is a ketose? This is an aldohexose. This is a ketohexose. I have written the formula structure of both the open chain structure and the closed ring structure here. This OH group of the C5 carbon atom has reacted with aldehyde intramolecularly to form a hemiacetal. There is always a reaction between an alcohol and an aldehyde. And thereby it forms a hemiacetal. You are able to get a chain structure, closed ring structure, a six membered ring, six membered ring, of which the C1 carbon atom is free which has got the free OH group. In the case of the fructose, the OH group of the C5 carbon atom has combined with the ketonic group in the second carbon atom. And once again, we are able to write the closed ring structures, five membered ring structure, this is the six membered ring structure. There's a furano structure and pyrano structure here. And the C2 carbon atom, which has got the free, that is called anomaly carbon. The C1 carbon atom of an aldose and C2 carbon atom of a ketose, they are called anomaly carbon atom. In general, if a molecule has got the free OH group at the anomaly carbon, then it is identified as reducing sugar. Look at that. This has got the free OH group. We are not concerned about the other uh, carbon atom. You should take only the anomaly carbon atom. So in terms of the structure, if the anomaly carbon atom has a free OH group, it is identified as a reducing sugar.